Hello beautiful people. In this video we will be talking about how will life on Earth end? Asteroid strikes, supernovae blasts, and other calamities could take out humanity. But no matter what, a cataclysmic event 1 billion years, from now will likely rob, the planet of oxygen, wiping out life. Life is resilient the first living things, on Earth appeared, as far back as 4 billion years ago, according to some scientists. At the time, our planet was still being pummeled, by huge space rocks. But life persisted anyway and throughout Earth's history, it's seen all manner of cataclysms. Disparate doomsdays, from supernovae blasts, and asteroid strikes to huge volcanic eruptions, and sudden climate shifts, have killed countless life forms. So, what would it take to kill off life in full? Well, it turns out that while humanity might be surprisingly fragile, it's not easy to sterilize an entire planet. Nonetheless, here are just a few possible doomsday events that could permanently, extinguish all life on Earth, and the last one is likely unavoidable. 1. Asteroid Impact Apocalypse When a city-sized asteroid, struck the Gulf of Mexico, 66 million years ago, it was game over for the dinosaurs, as well as most other species on Earth at the time. And while our ancestors hadn't yet evolved, the impact was perhaps, the single most important event in human history. Without that asteroid strike, dinosaurs might have continued to rule the Earth, leaving us mammals still cowering in the shadows. Humans, however, won't always be on the winning side, of such random events. A future asteroid could just, as easily take out every person on Earth. Fortunately, that's unlikely to happen anytime soon. Based on the geological record, of cosmic impacts, Earth gets hit by a large asteroid roughly, every 100 million years, according to NASA. However, smaller asteroid impacts do happen all the time. There's even evidence, that some people may have been killed, by small meteorite impacts, within the past few thousand years. 2. Death by deoxygenation For a more likely glimpse of an Earth-altering cataclysm, we need to look to the distant past. Nearly 2.5 billion years ago, a period called the Great Oxidation Event gave us the breathable atmosphere we all now depend on. An eruption of cyanobacteria, sometimes called blue-green algae, filled our atmosphere with oxygen, creating a world where multicellular life forms, could take hold, and where creatures like humans, could ultimately breathe. However, one of Earth's great die-offs, an event 450 million years ago, called the Late Ordovician Mass Extinction, likely happened because the inverse took place. The planet saw a sudden drop in oxygen levels that lasted for several million years. What could have caused such an extreme event? During the Ordovician period, the continents were one jumbled, mass called Gondwana. Most life on Earth still lived, in the oceans, but plants were beginning to emerge on land. Then, near the end of the Ordovician, a sweeping climate shift, left the supercontinent covered with glaciers. That global cooling alone, was enough to start killing off species. But then a second pulse, of the extinction ramped up as oxygen levels plummeted. Scientists see evidence of this shift in seafloor samples collected from around the world. Some researchers think that the glaciers were responsible for fundamentally changing the layers of the oceans, which have unique temperatures and specific concentrations of elements like oxygen. Yet, the exact cause of the oxygen drop is still up for debate. 3. End of the Sun Any of the devastating scenarios above, while undoubtedly terrible for life, are just a fraction, as bad as future Earth's ultimate fate. Gamma ray burst or not, in about a billion years, most life on Earth will eventually die, anyway due to a lack of oxygen. That's according to a different study, published in March in the journal Nature Geosats. The researchers suggest that, our oxygen-rich atmosphere, is not a permanent feature of the planet. Instead, in about a billion years, solar activity will cause, atmospheric oxygen to plummet back down, to the level it was at before, the Great Oxidation Event. To determine this, the authors combine climate models, and biogeochemistry models to simulate, what will happen to the atmosphere, as the sun ages and puts out more energy. They found that, eventually, Earth reaches a point where atmospheric carbon dioxide, breaks down. At that point, oxygen-producing plants and organisms, that rely on photosynthesis will die out. Our planet won't have enough life forms, to sustain the oxygen-rich atmosphere, humans and other animals require. The precise timing, of when that starts and how long it takes, the deoxygenation process could take, as few as 10,000 years depends, on a broad range of factors. But, in the end, the authors say this cataclysm, is an unavoidable one for the planet. Luckily, 
humanity still has another billion years, to figure out other plans. I hope you enjoyed the video.